Welcome to the review of Unit 9. Greenland Minerals Limited, an Australian company, has been seeking approvals for an open mining pit project on Greenland's southwest border. Now, supporters of the project point to the potential economic boon for the country um, because mining could help the island become self-sufficient. Boon. Boon. However, those types of mines are usually radioactive and cause a large amount of carbon emissions. So, um, Greenlanders who are environmentally conscious say that the negative effects far outweigh the benefits. It should also be noted that the largest shareholder of Greenland Minerals is Shenghe Resources, which is a Chinese firm partially controlled by the Chinese government. So this has led to many people fearing that China is trying to expand its influence into Greenland and gain control of its natural resources. Now, whether these fears are well-founded or not, it is pretty clear that more than one superpower is trying to get its hands on the territory. Well-founded. Well-founded. But of course, uh, decisions about Greenland are ultimately made by Greenlanders. And after snap elections were triggered over dispute about the Kvjanafeld mine, uh, a left-wing party that came into power vowed to block the project from going ahead. Uh, this put off other investors uh, from uh, investing in the country since Greenland Minerals uh, now has $100 million in sunk costs. Uh, it does seem as though mining will be in uh, Greenland's future at some point, inevitably, but uh, who this will be determined by and how is anybody's guess. Snap election. Snap election. Sunk cost. Sunk cost. Do you think the um, benefits that come from these types of mining projects mm -hmm. can outweigh the harms that they produce? So obviously I'm not an environmental specialist, I'm not an expert, so I can't sit here and say, well, drilling in Greenland uh, means that we destroy the environment this much, mm. but we undermine China this much. Yeah. So I can't tell you like which one is the right and wrong answer here. Like obviously it would be nice if um, minerals were controlled by free and democratic countries, mm -hmm. uh, but that's just not the world we live in. Uh, and whilst it's you know, not, not an ideal situation to necessarily have to work with governments that may be committing terrible atrocities. Um, at the same time, uh, uh, you sit there and you say, uh, maybe it's a situation that you know which is the better one to deal. Because if, if we're talking about the environment, then, I mean, we all lose. That'll do it for this unit. We hope to see you guys back for the next one. Bye-bye.